Most of the time when people dig up famous people's old tweets, it's because it's something racist, homophobic, or maybe it's an edgy joke that really isn't socially acceptable anymore. But what I found in Skip Bayless's old tweets is something much, much worse. Oh, I'm, I'm, my face is really zoomed in for me to say something dramatic. All right, hear me out here. Terrible NFL quarterback takes. Oh my God, this is a disaster! Also, I found this. That's that, that's that's pretty awful too. All right, let's let's get into the video now. Going inside the brain of Skip Bayless can be a very scary and dangerous thing to do. Luckily, I did it already, so you fine folks wouldn't have to suffer through that pain that I endured. I wanted to try and document and establish how Skip Bayless ranks, compares, and evaluates quarterbacks and try to package that information that I found into some kind of orderly fashion. So I rummaged all through Skip Bayless's Twitter account looking for some NFL quarterback comparison type tweets, you know, where he compares quarterbacks, two or more quarterbacks to each other, try to fit all the information together and get a nice coherent ranking list. I didn't accomplish a coherent ranking list, but I sure got a, a, a ton of comparison tweets that I'm going to rattle off for you guys right now. Alright folks, prepare to enter the mind of Skip Bayless as I'm going to spit out every quarterback thought, comparison, ranking he's thought in over the past decade, or at least that he's tweeted about, and I'm going to spit them out in about less than five minutes right here. So no more hiding, Skip. It's all out in the open. We're, we're going to see everything from the agreeable takes to the... What kind of disease do you have in your brain that makes you think these thoughts takes? And everything in between. Alright, so let's just let's just get it all out in the open. Let's just let the public know. And let's get this over with, because I think I'm gonna be out of breath after this. Alright, let's just start with Josh Freeman. Here we go. That's a that's a fun way to start. Here we go. Josh Freeman over Christian Ponder, Josh Freeman over Ryan Tannehill, Brandon Whedon over Ryan Tannehill. Back to Josh Freeman. We got Josh Freeman over Jay Cutler, Josh Freeman over Mike Glennon, but Jay Cutler over Mike Glennon. All right, Jay Cutler also over Matt Stafford. Interesting. Uh, Josh Freeman over Tim Tebow, but Tim Tebow over Mark Sanchez. Colin Kaepernick over Mark Sanchez. Colin Kaepernick over Alex Smith. Colin Kaepernick over Ryan Mallett. Colin Kaepernick over the elite Joe Flacco. Speaking of elite quarterbacks, oh, my God, he's got Tim Tebow over the elite Aaron Rodgers. What? Oh, he's also got Brett Favre over Aaron Rodgers, Peyton Manning over Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady over Aaron Rodgers, Dak Prescott over Aaron Rodgers, RG3 over Aaron Rodgers. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Dear God, is a piece of poop over Aaron Rodgers? Oh, wait, never mind. Aaron Rodgers over Kirk Cousins. Cool. So we got one win for Aaron Rodgers. All right, here we go. But it doesn't really mean much because you also have Alex Smith over Kirk Cousins, Case Keenum over Kirk Cousins, and Colt McCoy over Kirk Cousins. Anyways, let's stick with the former Browns quarterback theme here. We got Derek Anderson over Brady Quinn. We also have Baker Mayfield over Tyrod Taylor. I'm sorry, Tyrod Taylor. Uh, we also have Baker Mayfield over Matt Ryan. We have Baker Mayfield over Carson Wentz, but we have Kyler Murray over Baker Mayfield. We also have Baker Mayfield over Deshaun Watson. Uh, okay. Uh, Baker Mayfield over Cam Newton, but we have Cam Newton over Tim Tebow. Okay. But then we have Tim Tebow over Cam Newton. What the frick, Skip? Pick a lane, my dude. All right, back to Josh Freeman. Josh Freeman over Cam Newton, but Peyton Manning over Tim Tebow. Tom Brady over Peyton Manning. Tim Tebow over Tom Brady. Tim Tebow over Tom Brady. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Tom Brady over Matt Ryan. Tom Brady over Big Ben. Tom Brady over Andrew Luck. Tom Brady over Michael Jordan. What the frick? Where did the... Oh, I, I, I'm confused. Tom Brady over LeBron. Oh, I knew LeBron was going to get slandered somehow in this video. Johnny Manziel, one day going to be bigger than the city of Cleveland than LeBron James. Just figured I'd throw that in there since Tom Brady's apparently better than LeBron James. All right, back to our quarterback comparisons. Johnny Manziel over Geno Smith. Johnny Manziel over Blake Bortles. Johnny Manziel over Tony Romo. Johnny Manziel over Russell Wilson. Oh my, I got a tumor in my somewhere in my body now. Dak Prescott over Russell Wilson. Dak Prescott over Carson Wentz. Dak Prescott over Jared Goff. Dak Prescott over Andrew Luck. Dak Prescott over Tony Romo. Tony Romo over Michael Vick. Michael Vick over Matt Ryan. Donovan McNabb over Michael Vick. Vince Young over Michael Vick. Tim Tebow over Vince Young, so does that mean Tim Tebow over Michael Vick? Oh, that hurts my head. RG3 over Michael Vick, RG3 over Matt Barkley, RG3 over Landry Jones, RG3 over Andrew Luck, Deshaun Watson over Andrew Luck, Deshaun Watson over Patrick Mahomes, Andrew Luck over Patrick Mahomes, huh? Troy Smith over Alex Smith, not too sure how we got here, but okay. Matt Flynn over Alex Smith, Matt Flynn over Carson Palmer, Kyler Murray over Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson over Phillip Rivers. Phillip Rivers over Eli Manning. Eli Manning over Matthew Stafford. Let's move on from the guy that 
freaking replaced Eli Manning. Daniel Jones over Sam Darnold. No, wait. Let's flip that. Yeah. Okay. Now that's right. Okay. Matt Barkley over Geno Smith. Baker Mayfield over Josh Allen. Torod Taylor over Blake Bort. Bo I put Blake Bottles on the note card. I'm an idiot. Blake Bortles over Marcus Mariota. Jameis Winston over Marcus Mariota. Nick Foles over Carson Wentz. Andy Dalton over Carson Wentz. Jalen Hurts over Carson Wentz. Jalen Hurts over Justin Herbert. Tua Tagovailoa over Justin Herbert. Joe Burrow over Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, Joe Burrow over Justin Herbert. And Joe Burrow over Trevor Lawrence, who hasn't entered the NFL yet. So there you go, folks. You now have a, have a master's degree in Skip Bayless quarterback evaluating, knowing what he was thinking ology. Hope you and hope, hope you do something with that degree. Uh, maybe you can get a job at Speedway with that. I, I don't know. All right, so I was probably gonna do some like wacky or stupid ending like I usually do for my videos, but uh, just before I started recording this video, uh, I gotta give a quick shout out to this guy on Twitter, the Gamer ninety one. He also watches all my YouTube videos, so I know you're watching this kid. What's up? You're you're the inspiration for the ending. All right, but he sent me this clip of Skip Bayless calling the Dark Knight. An overrated movie. We 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 got we got to jump into this thing because this is this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> the Dark Knight is a good movie, but not a great one. Oh. I didn't like it. That number one, Batman had only the third largest role in this movie. Number two, I didn't like it that the Joker was the superhero. He was indestructible. He never even bled once in this mm -hmm. movie. Okay, so his first critique is that the Joker has more screen time than Batman in this movie. Apparently it's a flaw in a movie to have a more interesting character take up more of the screen time because he's the villain, it's a bad thing. And also, yeah, he didn't bleed in the dang movie because it's a PG-13 movie. Did you not see the interrogation scene with Batman where Batman was literally beating this man to try and get information and he was unsuccessful? Or how about that time when Batman had him in the end of the, in the freaking movie and he had the, those things coming out of his arm and it went psh, and it got his face? Sure, he wasn't actually bleeding in the movie, but a lot of damage happens to the Joker. I, I, I don't know what the frick you're talking about. I thought Jack Nicholson played a better Joker than Heath Ledger. Oh my goodness. God, God, God bless <laughs> Heath Ledger, but I just did. Okay, that might be a, a problematic statement for some people that freaking love Heath Ledger's performance. I love Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker, and I love Jack Nicholson's performance of the Joker. I also think they're two entirely different interpretations of the character. I mean, are you going to compare Nicholson's interpretation of the Joker to Mark Hamill's imp interpretation to Heath Ledger's to Joaquin Phoenix's? They're, they're almost entirely different characters, but just with the same name in entirely different universes. I, I don't think that's fair to really say one's better than the other when they freaking bring so many different things to the table. But then again, you've made a career saying some athletes are better than other athletes when they're completely, they have completely different skill sets. So I, I, I guess you're just doing exactly what you've been doing your entire career by saying that. You look like the Joker. I keep telling you that. And he was the star of the movie. He was and, a good I never, guy. and I I'll never, and I never ever. So just in case there was anyone out there that still took Skip Bayless seriously when it became the sports takes. That's what he has to offer for film takes. And also, the person that called the Dark Knight overrated also tweeted this. A are we supposed to take this guy seriously when it comes to movies? I risked my case. All right, I'm at Mom, but that's the video. That's how I close the video. And uh, belly slap. Boom!